2023 is looking like it's going to be an amazing year for new cars. Loads of new concepts have just been revealed at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. And other huge brands are getting in on the action with their own high-tech, high-powered production cars. So I've put together a list of all the cars I'm most excited about that will be arriving in 2023. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about them because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Hennessy makes cars for two reasons, to go fast and to annoy people who own Bugattis. They've already made the Venom F5 to take on the Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. Then they revealed the F5 Roadster one day before Bugatti launched its own Mistral drop top. And now Hennessy has made a lightweight race spec version of the Venom to go up against the track focused Bugatti Persport. It's called the Venom F5 Revolution. It has the same 1,817 horsepower engine as the regular F5, but it's covered in new wings and splitters for maximum downforce. The rear wing alone produces more than 635 kilograms of downforce at 249 miles an hour. Chasing lap records takes a very different suspension setup from smashing the 300 mile an hour barrier though. So Hennessy rejigged the F5 suspension and fitted new wheels and tyres to give the car greater contact with the road and more mechanical grip. All this comes at a very hefty price though. Hennessy is only going to make 24 Venom F5 revolutions and they're going to cost more than 2.2 million pounds each. Still, that's about 1 million quid less than a Bugatti Chiron Persport costs. Hennessy isn't the only American brand that's revealed something awesome this year. Ram has built its first fully electric pickup truck. Coincidentally, this is also called the Revolution. Hmm. Anyway, Ram said they wanted the new car to look brutiful. That's a combination of brutal and beautiful, which sounds a bit ridiculous but I can't argue with some of the truck's features. It comes with a hidden third row of seats and you can flip down the back two roads and fold away the rear bodywork to carry stuff that's 18 feet long. That's longer than most cars you can buy in Europe. Also, the center console can transform into a desk or you can remove it completely to carry even more stuff. The bodywork around the rear wheels opens so you can carry toolboxes or bags in there. And there's masses of space in the front too. It's not all about practicality though. The Ram 1500 Revolution also gets loads of new technology. It has an 800 volt electrical system that allows for 350 kilowatt fast charging. There's also a 28 inch dual screen infotainment system, driver face recognition, and there's an external movie projector that can turn the side of your house into a drive-in cinema. There's even a shadow mode that lets the truck drive itself at low speeds with no one in it, as long as there's a person to follow it. Why? Well, Ram reckons this feature will be useful on a job site where you need to move tools around, but you don't fancy climbing into the truck all the time. The 1500 Revolution comes with dual motors, all-wheel drive, and four-wheel steering. Ram hasn't conferred any performance stats yet, but it did say there's space under the floor for a set of more powerful motors. Anyway, this new Ram is technically just a concept for now, but it shows you what a proper full-size electric pickup truck from Ram will look like when it goes on sale in 2024. This is the gorgeous Alfa Romeo Giulia short wheelbase Zagato. It's a long name for a very special car. It's a shorter version of the high-performance Giulia GTA M. It has the same 2.9-litre twin-turbo V6 as that car with around 540 horsepower, but it gets a bespoke two-door body and a six-speed manual gearbox. You can think of it as Alfa Romeo's answer to BMW's new 3.0 CSL. This Zagato is much rarer than that car though. BMW is going to build 50 of those CSLs, but Alfa and Zagato are only going to make one short wheelbase Julia. Just one. They've done it to celebrate more than 100 years of the two companies working together. Neither has confirmed any performance figures for this new model yet, and I think I know why. It'll probably end up accelerating from 0 to 60 miles an hour slower than the GTA M on which it's based, because that has an automatic gearbox. But do you really care about 0 to 60 times? This machine will be about driver involvement, and it looks a little bit special. 2023 isn't just about turbocharged sports cars and electric pickup trucks. It's also about normal cars that ordinary people will go out and actually buy. And I reckon this Volkswagen ID7 is going to be one of the most popular cars of the next few years. This isn't actually a finished production car yet. That's why it's covered in all sorts of weird QR codes and 
bright camouflage. Underneath all of this is a brand new electric saloon, which shares many of its parts with the ID3 and ID4 SUV. Volkswagen reckons this new Tesla Model 3 alternative will manage up to 435 miles on a full charge. That's about the same as the maximum driving range claimed of the ID4 Pro. Although you're unlikely to get close to these figures out in real world driving conditions unless you spend all of your time pottering around in town. Expect the car's real world range to be closer to the ID4's combined range figure, that's around 330 miles. The ID7 also has a brand new infotainment touchscreen that's bigger than ever and supposedly much easier to use. I certainly hope so. Cars like the ID3, ID4, and ID5 come with fiddly climate controls and hit and miss voice commands. Fingers crossed they sorted out the infotainment system for the new ID7. The bloody need to. Anyway, I'll find out for myself when the finished car gets revealed properly in spring this year. Volkswagen isn't the only big name brand that's revealed a new electric saloon. Sony has built one too. Yeah, Sony, the people who make PlayStations. Well, to tell you the truth, Sony did get a bit of help from a car manufacturer, Honda. And together they came up with this car. It's called the Afila. Afela. I don't know how to say it. Now, this hasn't been designed to charge some high-capacity batteries or powerful motors. Neither Sony nor Honda has actually given any information about its performance or range yet. Instead, the AFEELA prototype is all about infotainment and safety technology. As you'd expect from Sony, there's a massive infotainment screen that occupies the whole dashboard, and there are a couple of extra displays instead of rear-view mirrors. The car has 45 onboard cameras and sensors to help its driver assistance technology deal with modern traffic as safely as possible. Don't go thinking this prototype is just a big fancy tech demo though. Sony and Honda are planning to start building a production car based on the AFEELA, however you say it, and it will go on sale in 2025. To make this happen, they plan to use parts of a new electric car platform developed by another big tech company, Qualcomm. Now these guys normally make microchips, such as those you might find in your phone, and it's never built a car before, but Qualcomm has just showed off its Snapdragon digital chassis concept at CES 2023. This car won't actually go into production either, but its electronics and software could help other companies start building their own cars for the very first time, just like Sony. Peugeot is one manufacturer that has made some incredible concept cars over the last few years. There was the Onyx supercar with its weird copper bodywork. Then the stunning E-Legend saloon with retro styling and a bright blue velour interior. Now Peugeot has revealed this. It's called the Inception. And before you ask, no, it's nothing to do with any Christopher Nolan films. It's supposed to show the potential of a new electric car platform that Peugeot will borrow from its parent company Stellantis. This STLA chassis, as it will be known, will form the basis for a load of other future Peugeots. The Inception has a 100 kilowatt hour battery, which gives it around 500 miles of claimed range. There are also two electric motors that make 680 horsepower combined. This will mean the concept can sprint from 0 to 60 miles an hour in less than three seconds. That's in the same league as Peugeot's 9X8 Le Mans Hypercar. Speaking of which, the Inception also borrows some design cues from that racing car, like the new three claw headlights and vertical brake lights. But if you thought the outside looked wild, check out the interior. Nothing is the shape you'd expect it to be. The seats look like giant Toblerone boxes stacked on top of each other. The infotainment display is a circular donut shape instead of a normal square. And the steering wheel looks like a rectangle with four holes punched into it. Peugeot calls this last bit the hyper square. I'm not sure what's so hyper about it, but it's supposed to make the car easier to drive by combining all the major controls into one touch sensitive panel. I doubt that'll catch on soon, but if Peugeot starts building road cars that look this good, I reckon they'll be onto a winner. Mazda is about to launch a car with an all new rotary engine. This will be the first car it has made with a rotary engine since the RX-8 went off sale in 2012. I was actually hoping this new car would be a two-door sports coupe like the RX Vision concept from 2015. That was supposed to have a new kind of rotary engine that Mazda specifically designed to meet modern emission standards. Unfortunately, the new production car is a bit different. It's actually going to be a plug-in hybrid version of the MX-30 EV. It uses an electric motor to drive the wheels, and the new rotary engine works as a generator to keep the battery charged while you're driving. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't sound as exciting as a new Rotary RX model, but this sort of technology could make sure Mazda keeps building cars with internal combustion engines for as long as possible. You never know, a performance version of this system could end up powering a hybrid MX-5 in future. Anyhow, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know some other videos you'd like to see, and click on those windows there to watch more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can get a car wire, and we will help you sell your car. Just upload some photos, give a brief description, and our dealers will bid on your car to make sure you get a great price for it. Thanks for watching.